Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. I'm Philip Tarrant, and here we have another Land Rover Discovery 3. It's done 137,000 kilometres, and it's got the TD V6. This particular car is an SE, and it's got quite a few extras. But one of the best things about this car is its service history. It's impeccable. We've been lucky enough to get two very nice Discovery 3s over the past few weeks. We just sold the other one. The SE came with leather seats, Xenon headlights, automatic headlights. Uh, this car's got dual zone climate control, an electric handbrake. You've got your terrain response system, whether you're on gravel, mud ruts or snow, whatever it may be. And obviously you've got your adjustable suspension and high and low range. You've also got hill descent control, making these cars very capable off-road, if not one of the most capable four-wheel drives off-road. The best thing about these Discovery 3 is they offer so much utility. You've got seven seats. You've got a turbo diesel engine, which is powerful, yet economical. It's got a good towing capacity. There are many features which make these discoveries very good cars. This particular car's also got Pirelli Scorpion tyres on it, which are very good on-road and off-road tyres. I've got them on my own SUV, and they work very well on and off-road, and uh, I have done both. It's got a split tailgate, which is a good idea, because if you're in a shopping centre and you're reversed up against a wall or something like that, you don't need so much space, whereas the old Pajero style swing tail gates um, unfortunately weren't all that good at all because they just took up so much space. The back seats fold down, it's a seven seater obviously, the seats are just under the cover there, the carpets are good, the hood lining is excellent, sorry about the, the light, it's a bit glary. Looks like it's got the original plates from when it was new. Whoever's owned this car has really loved it. Right down to the tyres, the wheel condition, the leather. It's great that it's got the rubber mats as well. But what I think you need to see is this service history. If you have a look online, you'll see these with 300,000 Ks, 250,000 Ks. I'd say probably most of them have done just over 160 or 170,000 Ks in terms of Discovery 3s. So we think this is actually pretty low kilometres. I'll try not to take too much time. But basically, they ran out of places to stamp the book, so they've gone over the page. ATV Automotive or a Land Rover Specialist in 5 dock. The last service done have been done at 132,000 kilometres, 124. 102,000, 91, I'm just going to go through them quite quickly, 91,000, 83,000, 72,000, 56,000, 64, 51, 41, 35. It's just been looked after all the way through 29, 22, 14 and 7,000 Ks. The best thing about that is often you'll find a car which has got a great service history, hasn't someone looked after it for the past 30 or 40,000 Ks. Then you find the rest of the logbook is less than desirable. The best thing about this car is that every single service ever done has been done on time every time. So I think it's a credit to the previous owner that they've looked after the car so well. It's got two remote keys to it, rear air conditioning, it's automatic, it's also got a, a manual mode and a sport mode. Um, and just for information, as I said, I do have these tyres on my car. I've done nearly 50,000 kilometres and they've still got plenty of wear on them, so there should be plenty of life left in these tyres, which, which look like they're only, they've only been purchased in possibly the past 10,000 kilometres. You can tell if it's got Xenon lights, it's got that circular look to the headlight. And it's got the squirters at the front. It's a requirement that all cars which come from the factory with a Xenon headlamp must have a washer. 
So it's silver with black interior. We know it's got great tyres, an incredible service history, two keys, good kilometres. I, I really don't think you can ask for much more in a, a 10 year old Land Rover Discovery. And if you have been looking at them, please come and have a look at this car um, because it won't last long. The last one we had lasted a few days and it basically was the same year with the same kilometres. So thanks so much for watching my video today. We have a number of cars in stock. It's the only discovery we've got at the moment. As I said, we, they don't last long, but we do have a Range Rover as well. Thanks again for watching.